When he first got to Hawaii back in 2010 via Fungi Tua High School in Pongo Pongo, American Samoa, he was a quarterback, maybe 170, 180 pounds. Next Tuesday, when the U.S. football team kicks off spring camp, they report as a six foot, 240 pound running back. Absolute beast as a ball carrier, a sure handed receiver out of the backfield, a blocker not many want to mess with. After sitting out his first season at Manoa, he's put together impressive numbers, and he's one of the go to guys for the Rainbow Warriors on offense. 361 rushes for 1,601 yards. 49 catches, 362 yards, and 16 career touchdowns. UH running back Joey Ilsefa, a game changer, a difference maker. He's our Hawaii MVP this week. Ilsefa saw his first action as a freshman in 2011 versus Colorado. The last time he touched the ball was against Army in 2013. Ilsefa! Getting 28 carries for 154 yards and a touchdown. The young kid you were when you got here, compared to the player you are now, what's the biggest differences? Came here, I was 190. I'm like 24, 245. You ever thought as a kid you'd become a big beast as a fullback? <laughs> no, I never. A lot of Polynesian or from my island in Samoa play defense because they love hitting, you know, most of the defense. For right now, I think I'm the one, only one that playing more like power back, pull back in, in, in the offensive side. Looking at it, the way he plays, it's still pretty hard to register he grew up playing QB and playing football at all in Samoa came after rugby. The physical style of running, is that from rugby growing up? Oh yeah, back home, you know, Every day without, when we, when we know at the drawers, is either play volleyball or rugby. And a rugby style is, is a lot of fun. It's a lot of physical. I think that's where I got some, <laughs> some of my skills from. Over the past few years, many have noticed Joey's work ethic, the way he conducts himself on the practice field, in the weight room. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Hurry up, hurry up. Even with drill sergeants screaming at him, he goes about his business with a smile on his face. Where does that come from? I think it's just my personality. I'm not that kind of angry person, you know. I just love working out. But you play angry. Yeah, that's the difference, though. <laughs> Off the field, I'm more like a cool person, quiet person, you know, but in the field, they never see that coming from me. That's why we play this game, because we, we, love, we love hitting, you know, contact sport. Now, due to a foot injury suffered before spring drills last year, Yosefa played only five games in 2013. Four, if you take away two early touches against Nevada, he came back too soon. But Joey still led the team, rushing for 590 yards, five TDs, and he solidified his spot as a force to be reckoned with in the Mountain West Conference. UH paper Kaleo even printed up this cartoon depicting Yosefa's reputation around the MWC. You ever saw that cartoon in the UH paper? The one with the guys that are all scared to death of you? Yeah, I saw I saw some of my friends um tag me on it. When I when I saw that I started laughing. I never saw that before, so <laughs> it's hilarious. What was no joke was Joey's return to full strength. 35 carries, career best 191 yards against Navy. Yesepa, lots of room. And he followed that up with a school record 37 rushes versus San Diego State. 37 carries. That's a load. Yeah, it is a load. How's the body hold up? I'm kind of beat up. If I did it on Navy, why can't I do it again on, on San Diego? That was the attitude I had. The body, yeah, beat up, but I think it was worth it. I remember vividly the San Diego State game. You scored a touchdown. And the guy tried to put a late, cheap shot on you. <laughs> Were you laughing when you gave him the shoulder? Yeah, I was laughing because I was having fun running the rock. There were a lot of talking trash happening in the game. I got that touchdown, and I noticed it's going to be a cheap shot. So all I do is just lower my shirt, my, 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 my shoulder, and it gave him a little bit, like, hit. And all of a sudden, I saw him flying down, and I was laughing, you know, laughing to myself because, you know, man, if I didn't saw that coming, It'll be me on the other side falling down, so I look at him and then I walk away. And speaking of walking away, just 10 days ago, Joey lost his running backs coach, Chris Wiesehan. He took a gig as offensive line coach at Temple. 
you're set to now enter your senior season playing for your fourth running back coach in four years. That's tough. That is tough. I never see that coming, you know. It was kind of frustrating. A lot of people believe in me, put my head down, just humble myself and just work my mind, <laughs> work my ass off. Rainbow Warriors running back Joey Ilsefa, our Hawaii MVP this week. Now, if any of you have ideas who we should feature as a Hawaii MVP, hit us up at KITV.com. Now, Joey says there's expectation for big things next season, citing a much improved off-season conditioning program. And behind his current offensive line, Joey's got a personal goal of rushing for 1,000 yards in 2014 with hopes of getting interest from the NFL. I think he'd get a lot of interest from Hawaii fans, too, if he was able he to do that. He is a beast. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing him on the field. Thanks, yep. Robert.